right, everybody. Hi, welcome back. Attorney Steve Vonder and happy Tuesday morning. I've got some breaking legal news here for you. This is coming under the category of sports law. Okay, Garagos and Eric Garagos, a powerhouse law firm from Los Angeles, has just filed, this was yesterday, a lawsuit in the Superior Court of the State of California for the County of L.A., okay? So we have a case here, a sports law case, Michael Bolsinger, former Major League Baseball pitcher, suing the Houston Astros, okay? So if you've been watching, if you're a baseball fan, or even if you're not, case about cheating, about alleged cheating, alleged sign-stealing, to get an advantage for the batters, okay? So if you don't know anything about baseball, it's really difficult to hit a baseball. They say it's the hardest thing to do, to hit a round ball with a round bat, okay? Especially when somebody's throwing like 95 miles an hour, 9,800 miles an hour these days with sliders and change-ups and everything else. So if you know the pitch that's coming, it can be very, very helpful to the hitter. Now, I was a former former um, Cincinnati Reds player myself, and, you know, I was a catcher, and I was drafted as a catcher 13th round by the Reds in 1989. And, you know, my job was to keep the sign secret. It was to basically have a system where nobody would be able to figure it out. So some people are really up in arms about, is this cheating? Did they cheat? I want you guys to weigh in on my board here. Leave your messages. Is this cheating? Is this part of the game? I used to hide signals so the other teams couldn't figure it out. You know, that's why pitchers and catchers have a system together to try to hide the signs. Okay, so in this instance, they're alleging that the uh, they were giving the signs to the batters through the use of technology and that that was giving them an unfair edge. And this pitcher basically is saying, you know, I kind of kind of ruined my career. So let's take a look. Let's unpack the complaint here. Complaint for damages. I have not looked at this yet, so we're looking at this for the first time together. Unfair business practices, negligence, intentional interference with contractual relations, intentional interference with prospective economic relations. That's like the money he could have made. And negligent interference with prospective economic relations. Now, I don't see sign stealing on there. Apparently, that's not a cause of action yet. I'm just joking, and you would think there would be something, but no. And this, you know, this falls kind of within the line. There's been a lot of cheating things, like, lately, as people see uh, different cheating things going on. But let's take a look. Comes now plaintiff Michael Bolsinger, who brings this action against the defendant, Houston Astros, LLC. That stands for Limited Liability Company for their involvement in an electronic sign-stealing scheme in 2017, resulting in the defendant Astros winning the World Series. So anybody knows Astros, they're tough. They're tough whether they're getting signs or not. They're just tough, okay? They're a great team. So uh, plaintiff Bolsinger was a professional relief pitcher with the Toronto Blue Jays who was called into the game by his team on August 4th after the prior pitchers on his team gave up several runs. In one inning pitch, point one inning pitched, uh, that means he got one out. Plaintiff Bolsinger gave up four runs to defend an Astros and was immediately terminated and cut from the team, never again to return to the major leagues. I think he ended up in Japan, as I recall. Let's see. The defendant's Astro sign-stealing scheme was recently discovered involved a camera in the defendant Astros outfield, which video recorded and decoded the signs by a catcher to the pitcher of an opposing team, which defendant Astros then relayed to the batter, Ela into Ela making a banging noise from the side of the field, depending on the pitch. So there's videos out there. You can find them on YouTube. When a changeup was coming, for example, you'd hear a boom, boom. And it was like kind of loud. I was surprised maybe a fan didn't say anything, but a changeup would come, which means that instead of throwing 100 miles an hour, they're throwing at 80 miles an hour. And you'd hear boom, boom. And the batter would have a chance to go, oh, here comes a changeup. So wait on the ball and smack the heck out of it. So that's what they're alleging here. Number four, defendant Astros unlawfully, tortiously, uh, tortious business practices have been, have consequences far beyond the wins or losses and strikeouts or home runs. Indeed, defendant Astros have been unjustly enriched in the amount of several hundred million dollars by their illicit scheme and went from a team controversial, controversially purchased through massive debt in 2011 to become one of the most valuable sport franchises today with a value of approximately $2 billion. Yes, that's billion with a B. 
Plaintiff seeks two categories of damages. First, consequential and general damages he suffered and continues to suffer in the form of the defendant Astros interfering with and harming his career. Second, plaintiff seeks restitution in the form of defendant Astros returning the postseason bonuses they earned from winning the 2017 World Series, which upon information and belief is approximately $31 million. So he wants the Astros to return that $31 million in bonuses. And I think what I read is he wanted it to go to a charity, but let's see what else we got here. Um, and they want to direct that this category of restitutionary damages, restitution, paying restitution for your wrongs, um, damages relating to postseason bonuses be used exclusively for charitable causes focused on bettering the lives of children with an emphasis on charities in the Los Angeles area as well as a fund for elderly, retired, professional baseball players. So there you have it. There's the parties. You can pause this if you want to read it. Jurisdiction and venue. Um, venues proper because a significant portion of the activities giving rise to the claims occurred in the county of LA. Specifically, LA is where the Dodgers, where the defendant Astros fraudulently won the 2017 World Series. So you have a lot. Of, you can see these claims. They are hitting hard. Garagos and Garagos, you can bet, they are hard hitting and a very, very good law firm. So this is what you can expect to see uh, from the complaint here. And we will keep you posted and let you know what happens there, obviously seeking damages and whatnot. But um, anyway, that's your little dose of sports law for today. We're going to leave it at that. We'll keep you posted. Okay, remember, these are just allegations. Nothing is final. Nobody is guilty until they're proven guilty or proven liable. Uh, many times cases get settled out of court. Probably about 90, 95, 99% of civil cases are settled. So this one remains to be seen. Okay, but there's sports law. That's what can happen. We'll see if this is going to be considered proper conduct or improper sign stealing. Okay, leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Um, have a great day. Have a great Tuesday. Bye now.